In this video, we're going to talk about mortar bridging. As you can see behind me, there's a wall here that uh, from the interior, we basically have taken out the OSB, which was what the sheathing was on this house. This home was built in the early 90s, and it did not have any house wrap on it whatsoever. But this typically happens on homes that have generic type of house wrap that's either perforated or woven. So you can take this as an example of one of those homes as well. This house uh, did not have any moisture barrier whatsoever on it. So the plywood or OSB actually was right up against uh, this mortar. They intended on this having a airspace between the OSB and the back of the brick so that the water could uh, flow down that back side of that brick and then down to the footing and exit through the weep system. The problem is that a, a lot of folks don't think about um, is mortar bridging. And what I mean by that is when you squeeze mortar out of these bricks by pushing, putting the mortar on, pushing the brick down, that mortar squeezes out on the backside. You can see evidence of that all through here. What happens though is as this mortar falls down the wall, it gets to a point where it can't go any further and then it starts to build up which is exactly what we've got right here. And then we've also got that down here on the bottom. And we've got it in this wall as well as this wall over here behind me. Um, what that does is this actually makes a bridge for the water now that's following the back side of this brick to hit here and now make its way over to the house wrap, or in this case, the OSB. When that happens, if your home is not set up correctly to accept that water and to let it flow, then you're going to get some water intrusion or even worse, rot and damage that you obviously have to repair. What we recommend for even brick homes is a very thin uh, rain screen. You can use, we've got an eighth inch rain screen now that's available. Um, but if you used some type of rain screen to maintain this airspace back here, this probably would not have happened. Now this home's kind of a uh, special circumstance because it didn't have any house wrap. But your average home that does have house wrap, uh, if you use a drainage plane, it should not uh, cause you a problem. More information, contact weatherproofingamerica.com. Thank you.